Welcome. In this insightful discourse, we will unmask emotional abuse and explore empowering strategies for recognition, coping, and ultimately healing from its pervasive effects. Diving right into the heart of our topic, we venture into the realm of emotional abuse, a form of maltreatment that's often overlooked due to its invisibility and subtlety. Unlike physical abuse, which leaves visible scars, emotional abuse has a more insidious nature. It gradually erodes an individual's self-esteem and self-worth through covert methods. Its two main elements are invisibility, for it leaves no physical marks, making it harder to detect, and subtlety. Like a fog that slowly surrounds and blinds us, emotional abuse creeps into our lives. It tends towards behaviors such as belittlement and manipulation. These not only demean a person, but can also cloud their perceptions, fostering self-doubt. Recognizing these traits is paramount. It's akin to noticing the increasing density of the fog around us and choosing to navigate cautiously, or even better, to change course. Early recognition of these signs enables us to deploy intervention methods and develop coping strategies sooner, aiding in the timely combating of this less visible but equally harmful form of abuse. Let's then sharpen our lens and delve further into understanding this profound blight. Indicators of emotional abuse illuminate the first signs of this subtle form of maltreatment. Excessive control marks one cornerstone of emotional abuse, where the abuser dictates the other's decisions, routinely monitors their communications, and establishes isolation. Then we have criticism, a noxious behavior consistently belittling or undermining the other person, gradually hollowing out their self-esteem. Lastly, the act of instilling fear, whether through threats or intimidation, acts as a stark indicator of emotional abuse. Recognizing these signs early is a crucial defensive strategy. It helps us delineate normal disagreements from toxic interactions and kickstarts the process of healing. Now let's talk about the cycle of emotional abuse. Emotional abuse doesn't solely echo in the quiet moments. It's a jarring symphony of erratic affection and degradation. The abuser either showers unpredictable warmth and love, casting doubts on the authenticity of the abusive nature, or degrades the victim, deepening their dependency and eroding their self-worth. The cruel alternation between kindness and cruelty keeps the victim off balance, trapped in a labyrinth of confusion. Understanding this cyclical pattern is vital to recognizing emotional abuse, a beacon shedding light on its insidious nature and guiding us towards the path of recovery. Entering the shadow-laden world of emotional abuse, we find its victims facing a constant oppressive apprehension. This torment often yields dire sequences, such as intense anxiety, debilitating depression, and even post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD. Emotional abuse, in essence, creates an atramentous curtain over one's life, instilling a looming dread that indiscriminately infringes upon one's mental health. To envision this plague of shadow more tangibly, imagine your consciousness as a lively city, colorful, vibrant, and teeming with life. Emotional abuse serves as a nebulous cloud that progressively darkens this bright city. This mental landscape is gradually cornered, its vibrancy fading, making you feel smaller under the towering shadow of torment. This visual analogy emphasizes the enormity of emotional abuse's psychological burden. The profound impact on the battered minds and the diminution of their spirit sets urgency for recognition of emotional abuse as it is an essential step in the healing process. Equipped with understanding and acknowledgement, we steel ourselves against emotional exploitation, potentially reversing its encroachment. This, in turn, illuminates our mind city, leading to recovery and resilience. An informed mind can indeed be an infallible defense against the creeping shadows of emotional abuse. Roots of abuse sprout from the soil of an abuser's past experiences or possibly generational patterns. Like seeds sown in the ground, these deep-seated psychological issues germinate and sprout into the oppressive tree of emotional abuse. Trimming the branches isn't sufficient. Understanding these roots allows us to uproot the tree completely. Moving further, we enter the realm of power dynamics. Imagine an intricate chessboard where the abuser, using emotional tactics, maneuvers their pieces to maintain dominance. 
This constant jostling for power and the continuous cycling of abuse can be as confounding as moves in a chess game. However, like a seasoned chess player, recognizing this pattern provides us with an upper hand, disrupting the cycle of abuse. Our end game today is empowerment. With the knowledge we acquire here, we aim to not just be pawns on the chessboard, but the players controlling it. The ability to halt the whirlwind of emotional abuse lies within us, and the key to breaking our silence could be this understanding. Settling personal limits can be instrumental in safeguarding against emotional abuse. First up, we speak of personal boundaries. They come in four flavors, physical, emotional, intellectual, and spiritual. Physical boundaries refer to comfort with personal space and touch, while emotional boundaries dictate how much we allow ourselves to share our feelings with another. Intellectual and spiritual boundaries draw the line at the respect for another's ideas, beliefs, and values. Establishing such fences around these areas fortifies your mental fort, ensuring you respect and recognize your self-worth. Enhancing relationships through boundaries, our next stop, shines light on how articulation of boundaries can upscale relationships. Kickstarting this journey are I feel statements, which help clearly express what you're comfortable with. If your limits are tested, stand firm, reiterate. Remember, strong boundaries don't just boost self-esteem, they can also lead to more satisfying relationships. Hammering these posts down in your mental landscape can turn you from a passive observer to an active participant in defining the tone of your emotional space, aiding you in recognizing, responding, and recovering from emotional abuse. Seeking support forms a pillar of strength in overcoming the enduring effects of emotional abuse. Grounding oneself with nurturing personal networks, comprising primarily of family and friends, paves the way for emotional comfort and understanding. Like a reassuring touch or a consoling word, they drape a warm coverlet of familiarity and acceptance around those grappling with bruised self-esteem. Parallelly, professional networks occupy a prime role in this road to recovery, with therapists and support groups offering a hand to hold when the path gets too dark. Emissaries of empathy, they wield qualified guidance and coping strategies, acting as sophisticated tools to mend a mind riddled by the aftermath of emotional abuse. Imagine navigating this journey as a sojourn through a labyrinth shrouded in dusk. Personal networks and professional networks function as comforting lanterns illuminating this encumbered path, with each shine of light signifying a step forward in healing. Balancing the emotional cushioning from personal networks with tactical recovery strategies from professionals embodies a pragmatic approach to handling emotional abuse. It invigorates the untouched corners of one's self-worth, resetting the compass towards resilience. This collaborative stance fortifies the journey of recovery from a solitary trudge to a more bearable passage. Healing after abuse is akin to nurturing a wounded plant. Sunlight embodying consistent care and attention fuels the journey to emotional recovery. Just as water is crucial to a plant's survival, self-care forms the anchor of recovery from emotional abuse replenishing and promoting personal growth. Therapeutic strategies are the earth anchoring the plant, providing solid ground for roots to prosper. Cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT, assists in reframing negative thought patterns, fostering a healthy mind growth. Dialectical behavioral therapy, DBT, provides balance between acceptance and change, cementing the life cycle. Much like a plant, this bloom and growth varies. Each individual's path to healing is unique, much as every species to plant thrives differently. Your journey is fueled by patience and self-compassion, with each step adding nutrients to personal growth. Every self-care routine adopted, every therapy session attended, is another step towards wellness. The non-linear healing process reflects the varying times and care plants need to grow. Embrace your journey, navigate your path, and remember, each step is progress, and progress is healing. Delving into the realms of equity and psychology, emotional abuse is legally acknowledged as prolonged systematic infliction of psychological harm. The clandestine nature of this abuse casts a wide net, harboring behaviors like persistent criticism, intimidation, and isolation. Consider a puppeteer manipulating marionettes. The victim is invisibly tethered, subjugated to the oppressor's will. Now what recourse does a victim have? 
The first step entails crossing the threshold of the courtroom. A petition must be filed presenting tangible evidence. Bridges with the tormentor can be burned using a restraining order, a protective barrier limiting contact. Keep in mind, this order is fortified by law. Any violation brushes against legal consequences. For professional guidance, orient yourself towards nonprofit legal aid services or bar association referrals. Legal procedures bifurcate into two corridors. Victims can tread the criminal path seeking the abuser's prosecution or the civil one demanding compensation. The overarching principle remains, knowledge is power. Equip yourselves with this to dispel the shadows of emotional abuse, reinstating justice and peace on the throne of your life. Mastering mindfulness is the key. This age-old practice enhances our ability to focus intentionally on our present experience, not critically, but with an open and accepting mind. What makes this beneficial? Mindfulness serves as stepping stone, providing a safe platform where we can observe and manage our emotions from a distance. It's akin to being a watchful guardian of a mighty river from its banks, noting its ebbs and flows, but not being swept away by its current. It's during those moments of emotional turmoil that we can introspect, redirect our thoughts towards a path of positivity, and develop resilience. Still wondering how this can be achieved? It lies within the rhythm of our breath. Consider the integral part of mindfulness that is focused breathing, a powerful tool that enables us to regulate our emotions effectively. In those critical moments, when our emotions threaten to topple us over, a simple act of focusing on our breaths can have a big impact. Picture your emotions as gusty winds and your mind as a boat in a stormy sea. Each measured breath is akin to skillfully adjusting your sail, guiding the boat to calmer waters. As an example for day-to-day -day practice, when faced with overwhelming emotions, we can consciously pause and take slow, deep breaths, enabling us to navigate the stormy emotional seas towards tranquility and resilience. Let's harness the power of mindfulness and timely emotional regulation to reclaim our control and nurture our journey towards healing from emotional abuse. In the aftermath of emotional abuse, the journey from victim to survivor to thriver represents a monumental transformation. Initially, victims often remain entangled in a web of confusion and pain. As they evolve into survivors, they begin to decipher the abuse they've faced, kindling the flames of healing. When they fully embrace their recovery, they become thrivers, armed with remarkable strength and empowerment. Amidst this metamorphosis, two elements hold significant value in fortifying resilience, continuous self-care and support networks. Daily rituals of self-compassion and mindfulness, combined with invaluable support from friends, family, and professionals, provide a buoy in choppy waters, steadying the journey towards emotional well-being. As empowered thrivers, individuals weave their experiences into collective wisdom transforming their personal trials into a beacon for others. This journey from the shadows of pain into the light of empowerment is not an end, but a new beginning. It is inspiring testimony that we can reclaim our sense of self, even after being marred by emotional abuse. Through these experiences, we can lend a hand to others, contributing meaningfully to the creation of supportive, empathetic communities.